may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Brother Beth has had a pleasant day. I forgot to do it earlier, but today is my mother's birthday that passed and she's already in heaven waiting for us to be there. So I wish her a happy birthday, Mom. I love you and I miss you. And we're going to be there soon. Me and my huge family that here on YouTube and that's adopted me and I've adopted them into our family mom. So very soon we will be home, especially with everything we're seeing in Israel. Now this article came out on uh, uh, Prophecy News Watch. I do like a lot of their material. It says escalations towards an independent terrorist state should worry us all. Not really. It should be very good for us because we're getting ready to leave. The hard truth is now that the millennia, the land of Israel, whether occupied by Jacob's tribes or others, has been a domain of countless generations of Israelis. The vast majority of Israeli nations and many Jews in the dystopia understand that the rights to retain their homeland after escaping 400 years of slavery in Egypt. At its core, the debate over the tiny area and land is founded on three primary factors, spiritual, natural, and political. In the result, the conviction of majority populace is that no one square inch of the current boundaries of the Eretz, Israel, the land of Israel, can belong to anyone who might harm them again, although people in peace are always gra graciously allowed to reside among them, and they are. They've lived beside the Gazans for a while, and they've done everything to try to help them, but every chance they get, they attack them. In the minds of most uh, commented, uh, committed Jews, the, their land is sacred, and it is. It's handed to them by God, promised to them by their creator, and deserves to remain under the authority and control of the Jewish nation. It is therefore a fantasy to, uh, a fantasy to expect that this ancient land would be willing, uh, willingly parceled out, especially to enemies of the nation. Furthermore, actions of the Western nations to compel uh, this separation of any portion of the land accords with the anti-Zionist and anti-Semitic ideology, uh, respective and commendable but mistaken motives. Such actions would again expose the Jewish people to danger, as a evident, evident throughout centuries past and most recent in October the 7th. And the Bible tells us this is ongoing with the Jews because they didn't accept their Messiah. No lasting peace could ever ensue from participating the uh, or partitioning the ancient soul. It is unrealistic to expect that historic enemies could, you know, all of a sudden just reside that close to Israel, to each other, when one party keeps vowing to destroy its peaceful neighbor. So the enforcement of Israel's control over the Gaza Strip to the Palestinian people in 2005 is what directly enabled the tragic events of October the 7th, a politically driven and short-sighted move and energized by a naive anticipation of peace, which, what did Paul tell us? When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come, has come full circle to uh, devastate the residents of Israel and Gaza, whether Jews, Druids, Christians, Muslims, or others. The demonst this demonstrates once again that Israel cannot share space with those seeking its destruction. And I've said that many times. These people don't want land. They want Israel gone because they don't work for God. They People, if there was no God, every religion wouldn't be fighting for this land. Okay, Satan wants the land because that was given to them by God. And he's tortured the Jews all this time. And it's going to keep going in the seven-year tribulation, Jacob's trouble. Daniel tells us in Daniel 9, 27, what to look forward to. 
and it's not going to be pleasant. Now, they will get three and a half years apiece, and that's just to be able to sacrifice, but God's going to give them that. And then we all know what happens in the middle of that. That is when the Antichrist will sit on the throne, and he will call himself God. Now, what happens at the end of this month sets that up. At the age of 100 and the apex of his wisdom, at the age of 100 and his apex of his wisdom experience, while referring to October 7th, Henry Kissinger emphasized this point. The two-state solution doesn't guarantee that there will, what we saw in the last weeks won't happen again. He was correct. The Quran uh, Surah 2, verse 193, does not allow for peace and compromise with non-Muslims. The Quran. And fight them until there is no more uh, sedation or religion uh, will be Allah's alone. So if, if they desist, then there is no violence save, uh, see, there will be no violence save against the wrongdoers. Uh, with the founding of Islam in the uh, 7th century, the ideology of compelling uh, observance to Islam for everyone, often by any means necessary, its main motivating force behind conflicts against Jews and Christians, non-Muslim Arabs, and those with other faiths. Nonetheless, against all strategic intelligence regarding the feasibility of a two-state solution, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron on January the 20th, not 29th of 2024 in the House of Commerce announced the political plan to partition Israel into two states. And God's already told us what the outcome of that will be. So that's why I said, this is all coming up in April too, by the way. When the planets align, there's a devil coming, coming, coming over Passover. It's first of Nisan, we can go down a list. God is warning us that this is coming. As that happens, we... The, with allies, we'll look into an issue recognizing a Palestinian state, which God will destroy the world because of it, including at the United Nations. This could be one of the things that helps to make this process irreversible. The same content pertains to Anthony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, who is considering recognition of an independent Palestinian state. So the United States is behind this. With supposed security guarantees for Israel, both Blinken and Kamsi, this is for peace. They're trying to get peace. What did Paul say? Peace and security didn't set in destruction. This is setting that up. Now think about that. This right here is setting that up. Irrespective to the aims and intentions of the two parties, clarify, uh, clearly involved the radical Islamists of Gaza and the West Bank and the state of Israel itself. To the contrary, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, thoroughly understands that his country's citizens cannot practice shared space with his sworn enemies. You see, Satan has got his hands in all of this. You see, God's going to let this go through, and it all will work out because it's prophecy. On January 18, 2024, he issued a public statement in the effect that in a post-war setting, any future arrangement or the absence of any arrangement, Israel must maintain security control over a territory west of the Jordan River, meaning Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza. That is its vital condition. Netanyahu determined reflect, uh, determination reflects the unfortunate reality of Islamics, uh, which is clear the, from the recent outburst of uh, Amman, Ahagi, Jalo of the Community Center of Madison, Wisconsin, on October 13th, just six days after the event of October 7th, he declared it's only jihad that can bring victory. No contracts, no agreements, no alliances, not any of those things. See, once again, it's not about land. The Bible tells us it's not about land. What they're feeding you through the media is a lie. All lies. All the Jews will be killed by Muslims. See, this is, this is them talking. They don't want the land. They want to eradicate the Jews. The Bible tells us the same thing. But God will stop the Arab nations. He will step in. They will be executed by Muslims. They will all be killed. Now, this is coming from these people. And this is a guy in the United States. Hamas leaders openly admit that they seek ownership of Israel's land. Not only Gaza. They deny the legitimacy of Israel's existence. God talks about this. This is all Bible, people. This is all prophecy. It's a good day for us because we're about to leave this, this place. During late January 2024, senior Hamas officials uh, speaking from his safe haven in Qatar 
underscore the Palestinians' claim to all of Israel, from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, the West Bank, Gaza, and Israel. Now, we all know they're all going to come, and God's going to defeat them, and they'll get three and a half years of peace to where they can sacrifice. This is what's setting this up. The Hamas original 1988 charter was purposely redacted in the supposedly revised Hamas 2017 charter, but Articles 1927 clarify that, number 19, there shall be no recognition of a legitimacy, uh, a legitimacy of the Zionist entity. 20. Hamas believes there is no part of the land of Palestine should be compromised and conceded. Uh, of all the causes, the circumstances and pressures, and no matter how long the occupation lasts, Hamas rejects any alternate, alternate to the full and complete liberation of Palestine from the river to the sea. However, without compromising its rejection of the Zionist entity, without relinquishing any Palestinian rights, Hamas considers the establishment of the full fully sovereign and independent Palestinian state, with Jerusalem as its capital, along with the lines of the 4th of June of 1967 and the return of the refugees and the displaced to their homes from which they was expelled to be a formula of natural consequences, consensus in uh, 1967. Hamas affairs that affirms that the accords and the, wow, some of these articles are horribly written, governing rules of international law in the generated comments to violate the rights of the Palestinian people. Therefore, the movements reject these agreements and that they uh, the flows from such, such as uh, obligations to the interest of our people, especially security coordination. Hamas rejects all the agreements, initiatives, and settlements projects that are amid the undermining of the Palestinian, Palestinian cause. So this goes on and on of what the Palestinians are wanting. That, that there's no way that they're going to get. Israel's not going to allow this, and God ain't going to either. Now there's going to come a time, very soon. Now we're already seeing it's already in progress. That somehow, some way, Israel is going to buckle down, and they're going to accept some kind of peace deal. That they're going to, something's going to, in the middle of this Gaza war somewhere, I think they'll defeat Gaza, and then something will happen with them in Lebanon, and they're going to try to work something out. And then that's when everything's going to go bad. Now, all these other states, these other countries that's trying to separate Israel, God's going to deal with them very soon. That's why you see the X coming on April the 8th. God knows what America's doing. He knows what she's doing. And he's going to make, an, he's going to come to stop that. You can't separate Israel, people, the Bible says. When that happens, God will react, and it will not be pleasant. This country has bitten off way more than it can chew. But like I've told you in the first video, what we're seeing right now is Jacob's trouble. It's on its way. It's already, you, you just see it starting to leak each and every day. This tells us, because Jesus told us what to look for in the last days, and we're seeing this. We're seeing the red heifers that Moses and Aaron started all this time. It's been 2,000 years since there's been a red heifer that God has put on this earth that they could use. So God's waited to this time. It was all God that those red heifers. See, God's all about timing. This is something Dr. Barry Ah talks about very uh, a lot of times is timing. And God is always on time. These red heifers were saved to this moment. Remember, 2,000 years, people, not a red heifer that was adequate to do this, to set up the third temple. Do you think that that's just coincidence? No. Just like we've told you, God has been telling everybody, I'm coming. I'm coming to get the bride. He's been telling everybody. And that, see, we didn't even know about this red heifer thing was going to come up. It wasn't even there when we started this, when God was telling us that he was coming. That tells us we're in the right time frame. We're correct that this is all coming to an end. That's what the red heifers prove. And what's happening with Israel with the separation of inside their government, the fighting inside their government and their military, what's happening around them with their enemies. This is all in day's prophecy. The next event is the rapture of the church. 
And people, let me tell you something. It is any time. It is any time. Trust in the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. People, we are literally in the last moments. And I apologize for not being on here, but I'm just, I'm still at work and just absolutely tired and wore out. But I wanted to get on here and just keep letting you know with all the stuff that's happening, of what we're seeing with Israel. And I've told you many times, just watch Israel right now. Watch them, watch them, watch them, because it all centers around them. The seven-year tribulation is for them and non-believers. It's not for the church. So we can watch Israel and see that their demise from inside and out. That is Jacob's trouble that's coming. The red heifers is our ticket out of here. It's all there, people. You just got to open your eyes and see it. But see, many won't because, see, we're in a time where Israel has just become an enemy to so many people. So many people hate the Jews. And this, these lies from these people have just literally made this so bad. And Lucifer's used it because, see, he don't want Christians paying attention to the Jews. He don't want nobody paying attention to them. He wants them to be insignificant because he knows the ones that are awake, they're watching Israel. We understand that that's where the, the capital of the world will be in the millennial reign. And that Jesus is a Jew and he's coming back because he's the king of all Jews. So people don't realize that little piece of land is the most important piece of the land on this earth. Why do you think everybody's fighting over it? Why do you think that? It's the size of Rhode Island, people. Why is everybody fighting over it? That is your sign that there is a God and that everything the Bible says is correct because the Bible said all this stuff would happen. And here it is, right in our time. Glory, hallelujah. We're almost gone. The more these articles come out each and every day, we're one day closer. I missed, I think it was, I missed the, the thing what I was talking about earlier was trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 1 through 4. I, that is so important right now in the blood of Jesus, what he did for you on the cross. Because right now we're just running out of time to get people on that ark. Israel's falling apart by the day. Now they're winning in Hamas. They're winning against Hamas right now. That is, they are. But Lebanon is a much tougher opponent that's coming. And God keeps telling us about Ramadan, Ramadan, right before this April 8th eclipse. And he showed me that almost four times now, people. That's why I've been really trying to get two videos out a day because I just know our time's limited. The Holy Spirit tells me it. You can see it. No, I'm not the only one. The other watchers are doing the same thing. They know what I know. Israel's the key. And by watching what's happening with Israel and what's surrounding them and how America is trying to divide them down the middle, we all know what's coming. Because the Bible tells us. We are in the last days. Trust in the blood of Jesus. If you don't have, if you're lost out there today, your time is running out. Don't gamble with your soul. It's an eternity with heaven or an eternity of hell. It's just two, you don't, there's no in between. So trust in the blood of Jesus today. He died for you and he's calling out for you. That's why we're doing these shows. That's why. Because we want people to realize he's, he's reaching out to you right now. Don't matter what you've done. You know who I'm talking to. There's somebody out there right now. They're like, well, I've done, I've, I've done so much. Why? God loves you no matter what. And he, want, he does not want you to spend eternity in hell. So call up on him today and trust in the blood of Jesus. What he did on the cross, he died for you. Nobody else did. Nobody else would. All of him. We don't want to see anybody left behind. All this that's happening right now is end-day signs. These are end-day prophecies. People were, were literally seeing Revelation come to life. It's here. 
was it's happening in the stars, it's happening in the sun, the moon, it's happening everywhere. All the signs are there. Don't say that you didn't know because they're all there. It's just it's, the world people are in love with the world and they're not paying attention. You got to open your eyes and be awake. Those who are awake can't go back to sleep because we are we see everything. We see what's happening. We see Lucifer's grip on the or, on the world and what he's doing. But what you're seeing in Israel is in day signs. Jacob's trouble is any time. It's going to start at any time. It's already brewing. So get on the ark while you can. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.